<laughs> straight up, straight up. How's it going everybody? We are, or I am, on the way to the field this morning to test something very cool. I, I didn't stuff, I up, I scaled the, uh, the Mirage up to a 70 millimeter and I did this because I had a TP power. Now I don't know if like you guys that are just getting to the hobby now will know what that is, but um, you can look it up. There's a TP power, I'll, I'll put a link to the motor. It's a huge, heavy fan, but it makes like five and a half pounds of thrust on 4S and which is insane and then um and then it makes i want to say nine pounds of thrust on a on a six on a 6s so i'm obviously not going to put a 6s in this thing 3d printed planes they're just going to get too heavy but uh let's see if we can show you what that looks like i don't know if you can see that in there but that is a monster fan so Let's see how that goes. Hopefully it will rip. I'm sure it will rip. I just don't know if my ESC is gonna be able to handle it. So we'll see what happens. All right, we're back with another Mirage here. This one is a 70 millimeter. Uh, it has been uh, reworked a little bit. Um, airframe is exactly the same, um, but uh, I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I put a thrust vectoring rear, um, kind of modular system where I can, you can, uh, you can just take the, the, the thrust vectoring tail and, and glue that on. I'm going to have more details on that later, but, um, I reworked the canopy a little bit. You can see the recesses are bigger for the magnets here and here. There's a shelf right here for the magnet and back here, and you can see it goes on perfect. Two magnets. And this thing is, uh, I think it's 1,200, 12 or 1,300 grams total. So uh, I think that it should give me some substantial power increase over what I had before with the with the 64. Uh, maybe eight mile an hour wind. So, but it's good because it's going in the direction that I like to hand launch. Let's just throw this thing up. Um, and see what we get. This thing should be a lot faster and a lot more, um, I guess, maneuverable because it's going to have way more thrust. Uh, I'm just going to warm my fingers up for a minute because it's 37 degrees. But um, <clears throat> I just, I'm a little worried about the amperage of this thing. It pulls um, 115 amps with 4S at full throttle, and I have a 100 amp. Um, ESC in here so I don't I don't know if it, it could just brown out on takeoff and I could have a big problem so oh another another thing I changed is I added recessed hand grips and I'm, I'm gonna make this hole bigger for the um, for the hand grip so it's easier hand launching let's do a thrust test oh yeah okay we got some we got some good thrust Let's throw it out. I always get nervous with the Mirage. Why, why do I get nervous with a new Mirage? Because they're so pretty looking? I think that's why. Because they're so clean. We're gonna move out a little further. This thing is heavier than I'm used to. It's about 300 grams heavier. So let's just do it, right? Oh yeah. Ooh, twitchy. Holy, this thing has a lot of power. Holy. I'm just trying to get the feel for it real quick. Whoa. That is 30%, guys. That's 30% power. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I just had to trim it out. A little bit um, I'm using the CG a little bit behind the nubs <laughs> I'm scared to go full throttle because I don't want to tear the wings off I at least want to fly it around a little bit oh my god this thing is friggin fast 
Watch this. Ready? Oh. Oh my God. This thing is a monster. I never thought a 3D printed plane that's 1300 grams would fly like this. Guys, seriously? Look at this. Oh, tail slide. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna munch this battery up with this big motor. I'm not quite sure. I gotta listen real careful. I think it's already starting to go. Look at that. Oh man, this thing is so cool. And it is floaty still. There is no reason not to use. Look at that. Look at that. There's no reason. Oh, battery's going already. That was an 1800. That was an 1800 4S. Eighteen hundred four S. I'm gonna put the twenty two hundred in there so I can get it all another minute maybe. Okay, I am going to warm up my fingers a little bit because I'm having a little trouble getting my hands to do what my brain wants them to do. <laughs> One of my test pilots, Rick, actually was just texting me, so I'll check that out when I'm done. I'm sure I'm gonna let him know how this went quickly after I leave here. So my hands are just about warm enough to get moving here and I just hope if it does brown out I have a hope I have a little bit of capacity uh, where I can land it <laughs> I don't know how that works I don't think there there will be any electrical energy I think it'll just be dead all right let's go ready and 2200 milliamp Oh yeah. Oh. It's like a rocket. That's 50% power. It's definitely getting tossed around in the wind a little bit, but this uh, Mirage design definitely uh, can take it. So you guys worry about not having a, uh, a spar on the wing, right? Everyone always would Everyone always talks about not having a spar. And it seems to be fine. This is a 1300 gram model. Look at that. And I'm gonna pull hard. It floats. 1300 grams. And I'm pulling hard on it. Ready? I'm gonna bank and yank pretty hard here. I don't know. I, I just can't, I can't rip the wings off of it. Even if I want to. Look at that. That was full down. This is fun. It's way more fun when it's a, uh, a big boy motor in it. There's really no downside. You can still land it really smooth. <laughs> straight up, straight up. So cool, unbelievable. Still have not added any throttle. It's just gliding. Just gliding. It's got a lot of get up and go here. I hope I didn't melt those battery wires. I'm running way more amps than this ESC. Oh, you know what? I soldered on the, the XT60 connection with smaller gauge wires. I think that might be the issue. This thing covers a lot more real estate than I'm used to with the other Mirage. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I ran out of something. Something happened. I don't know if that was my brownout or if that was just the battery dead. Let's see what we got. Okay, one handed pickup. Oh, <laughs> it's good. I can't believe it. All right, I may lose this model because I have a feeling the battery wires are going to melt and I'm not gonna have a power connection after takeoff, but I do dumb stuff. That's part of life is learning lessons. I wanna fly this thing again. All right, let's chuck it. I just wanna get a couple more minutes of flight. So good. Look at that. Look, look, look. <laughs> I could definitely turn down the uh, the roll rate. It just doesn't need as much roll. The elevator, I like to have a ton of elevator. That is, it, half throttle, this thing flies, it flies as fast as my 50 millimeters do. Look at that, that's half. I do need a bigger ESC, I believe, in this. I'm gonna do one high speed pass into the wind. some time to cool off a little bit all glide right there that's all glide all glide I'm gonna do some tight turns it's definitely with with the more weight it actually tail slides a little bit look at that trying to be smooth so I don't stall it because you know what happens all right I'm gonna not take a chance with the battery I've I've tested fade enough here beautiful all right that is awesome I'm going to get this 70 millimeter fan size file set uh, to you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy this thing.